Fette Compacting. Be efficient. Welcome to the Fette Compacting Technology Center, where we will show you today the world premiere of this novel continuous manufacturing system. In 2005, the chemical or the pharmaceutical industry started with continuous manufacturing with the development of a continuous wet granulation system. Five years later, in 2010, this system was connected with the tablet press, connecting the two units into a fully automatic tablet manufacturing facility. We are now 2022, and there are about 10 products being produced in a continuous way by about five companies. Why is continuous manufacturing not taking off any faster in the industry? What is the problem? Well, when we started the development program here at FETA in 2017, we did an in-depth analysis. And we quickly came to the conclusion that we had to take out the cost and the complexity out of continuous manufacturing. Cost in terms of equipment, dedicated equipment, customized equipment, large equipment, but also the cost for the facility, housing this large equipment, even requiring, requiring complete new um, um, systems or facilities. And on the other hand, complexity, losing weight feeding, PAT, all scaring off customers who wanted to do this step into continuous manufacturing. So we realized that if we want to develop continuous manufacturing technology and equipment that is accessible to a wide range of companies in the industry, we had to restart from the beginning. We had to start from a white sheet of paper. We had to reinvent continuous manufacturing. At the same time, we also realized that there was a strong trend towards direct compression. So we decided to focus on continuous direct compression. It has been mentioned uh, this morning. It has so many advantages in terms of simplicity of the process, but also from a point of view of sustainability. So we decided to reinvent the whole thing and we put forward seven key requirements that need to be fulfilled in order to develop the right machine. The first element was modularity. We wanted a solution that gave full flexibility in terms of application and in terms of installation. Secondly, compact. We said we will develop a machine that fits in an existing tablet manufacturing facility. Generic. One standard machine design that is able to run a wide range of different formulations at a wide range of throughputs. Containment, obvious. The potency of APIs is always growing. We needed to develop a machine that offered maximum protection to the operator against the product which was, uh, is being processed in the machine. If continuous manufacturing needs to be efficient in production, it must be multi-product production systems. So pro fast product changeover is essential. So we had to focus on a very quick changeover from product A to product B. Embedded PAT, meaning process analytical technology, which is fully integrated in the machine, in the control system of the machine, offering a plug and play, constant online product monitoring. And last but not least, 3Easy. 
a system that is easy to set up, to operate and to change over, just like a tablet press. All those requirements resulted in a very novel machine design, which I'm very proud to present to you now, but I will ask uh, my colleague Walter to go through the details of the machine. Yes, also from my side, a very warm well welcome to the audience, and I'm extremely proud to finally present to you the FECPS. And this stands for Continuous Processing System. So as you can see at the back of my, it is really ended up in a very compact solution. And that was really to make sure that it can be integrated leanly into your existing tableting facilities. If we have a closer look to the raw material charting systems, you can see there that we have provided the full flexibility. And it was just because we can then optimally serve you as a customer towards your preferences of integrating. Even we can integrate split fall system to handle more potent ingredients that is all uh, part of the flexibility. Uh, what is really striking this unit is that we uh, ended up in fully separation of all the product contact parts with the technical area, where then the mechanical and the electrical components are uh, housed. Of course, the back of the machine I cannot show you now, but you are very welcome later during the demo to have a look yourself. But this maximized the accessibility also for an operator during, for example, an emergency shutdown, but also for technicians at the back to uh, not go into contact with uh, equipment. Otherwise, uh, the other thing is also, by separating the process area from the technical side, we can actually increase drastically the change over time. And this is needed for the fast changeover concept that we designed. What is also very important is that we now had actually an isolated process box that can even be put under in a slight under pressure to maximize also the operator's safety. The design itself, the process design, is made generic, which means we can handle a wide variety of ingredients at flexible uh, throughputs. We can range from 5 to 200 kgs an hour. And that's all by just interchanging a limited amount of format parts. It's the, the screws of the loss and weight feeder. It's a configuration that's product dependent or maybe a tooling uh, of the tablet press. You see that we have six ingredient streams, which can be accurately those by loss and weight feeder, and we've put them on a line. This was to maximize also, on the one side, the fast change over time, but also the process flexibility, because these streams of product can now enter the blender region of most interest, just depending on the recipe, and it will depend from formulation A to B. Yes, we do have additionally a specific design of the blender. So we, we enabled to, in one unit operation, integrate two mixing zones. In one mixing zone, you can have a different shear intensity than in another. And that can be very useful, for example, if you want to handle also more shear sensitive products, like more polymer-based uh, products in the future. And if we have a closer look in detail, we could see that right behind, after the blender, we can have already a first inline quality check by NIR spectroscopy. And that's the measuring the blend uniformity right before a transfer towards another downstream process. And this reflects again the modularity of our system, because it's by using a blend conveyor, which you can see here up front, we can really integrate with flexible downstream processing units, just like a capsule filler, it can be an IBC, it can be a session filling machine even, but of course, often it will be a tablet press. And then we make a continuous direct compression line. The tablet press of, of uh, most interest for us, uh, as well compacting, is the FE55, because it has a special design. It has three compression stations compared to the traditional two compression stations and most other uh, tablet, compression, uh, tablet uh, presses. And that withstands an additional uh, feature, because we increase the dwell time drastically with that. And that can provide the necessary flexibility that you need with sometimes difficult to tablet uh, formulations in direct compression. If we we'll also have a deeper dive into the equipment, you can see again that we can provide here inline quality measurements by blend uniformity sensors, or it is inside the in feed tube of the press, or we can build it in inside the feed frame of the tablet press. 
When going around, you can also see that we even redesigned the spectrometers and the light source to make it more industrial applicable and very compact to be even mounted on site the corner of this tablet press. And last but not least, at the end of the tableting production, we can do a final quality check by our tableting sensor, which can measure every single tablet by NIR reflectance to measure the assay and even to accept and reject tablet based on the signal. And this all, both machine controls, but also this inline quality measurement, this all embedded in one central controller that actually has an intuitive HMI screen so that any experienced tablet operator can really handle this machine. So now I would kindly ask Jan, maybe you can start the machine for us? Yeah, of course. So, that's it. The continuous data compression line. Fetter compacting. Be efficient.